DTAC is a workforce development accelerator that provides students and businesses with resources to optimize the mutual benefits of work-based learning. The Rappahannock Work and Learn Collaborative, which I'm here to represent, is your local DTOC representative, and we are here to support development of your work-based learning opportunities for K-12 and college students throughout our entire region, inclusive of the Fredericksburg area, Middle Peninsula, and Northern Neck. The state has identified work-based learning as essential for developing and retaining talent in the Commonwealth. In other words, if we, as a community, demonstrate to our workforce that we are committed to ensuring they have opportunities to learn workplace readiness skills, apply those skills in a job, and thrive in a career path in Virginia's economy, perhaps they, in future generations, will be inclined to stay. Of the 12 types of work-based learning recognized by the State Council of Higher Education for Virginia, internships have been identified as a priority for bridging the gap between classroom and real-world experiences. So over the next decade, we will be working to we will be working <laughs> toward fulfilling a statewide goal of creating 100,000 new internship positions by 2033. To support fulfillment of this goal, VTOP has developed resources to help businesses and students prepare for their prospective roles in the internship experience. I will provide an overview of those resources and guide you through the eligibility criteria. So, VTOP offers three key state-funded resources. Free training for employers and students, staffing agency support for hiring interns, and the 50% funding that should pay interns. So for the VTOP training, uh, the programs for students and employers are free and open enrollment, so anyone in Virginia may take advantage of the courses. There are currently two programs for students. One course, Developing Career Readiness Skills, is designed to help students develop skills such as communication, teamwork, and critical thinking to support their success in any work-based learning opportunity. The other course, a student internship toolkit, is designed to guide students through the process of finding and securing an internship. For employers, the course Developing an Internship Program is designed to help you optimize the mutual benefits of work-based learning by designing enriching internship experiences that help students reinforce their learning of Virginia's five C's, citizenship, creative thinking, communication, collaboration, and critical thinking. So, beyond the training, since that's open to everyone, to determine whether or not you qualify for the additional support that I mentioned, um, the staffing agency support and the funding, if a representative of your business completes at least six of the eight modules of the VTOP training for employers, and your business meets the, eligibility, the following eligibility criteria, you may qualify for free services to establish or expand your internship program. So what we would want to see is that your business is registered with the State Corporation Commission, that you've been in business formally for at least three years, that you have a physical location in Virginia, 250 or fewer employees, hiring either your first intern or expanding your internship program to add at least one new intern and be willing to pay interns uh, the minimum wage that Jenny mentioned on the panel currently is $12 an hour. So for those of you who have businesses of 250 or fewer, the staffing agency support is provided through um, a staffing agency that the state is contracted with, and they provide comprehensive support in staffing interns. So, They'll help scope out the job description with you for the intern um, to Carly's point of how critically important it is to have one of those to um, define the work. They'll support you with recruitment. So what that would look like is that they would come to the schools, um, get into our recruiting systems um, so that you can get um, identify students to potentially interview. They would support you in that selection process, so helping with scheduling the interviews. They would support you with onboarding and with payroll management. So in other words, for 
mid-sized, smaller businesses, the support is being offered to take a lot of the heavy lifting with human resource management off of your plate so that you can focus on hosting an, an intern for a quality experience. For those of you who represent companies with 150 or fewer employees, you could potentially qualify for staffing agency support and a 50% funding match from the state. And so what this is a graphic that outlines um, how that would break down. And so there's support for paying the wages for the intern. And again, it would have to at least be minimum wage, that FICA guy, <laughs> uh, stipends for housing, transportation, food, uniforms. And um, basically the way that this is administered is because it's going through the staffing agency, they would handle paying the intern and then you would get invoiced for your half of the cost. So to recap, all Virginia students and businesses have access to free training to support the development of effective, mutually beneficial internship experiences. Businesses with 250 or fewer employees could be eligible to receive free staffing agency services to find an intern. And businesses with 150 or fewer employees could be eligible to receive free staffing agency services to find interns and 50% funding match to pay interns. Even if your business does not meet the criteria to support for support from the state funded staffing agency and matching funds program, we can still explore ways for you to offer students access to internships and other forms of work-based learning. So let's get started. 